Well, today I'm with Taylor, who is talking to us on Skype. He's somebody who contacted us from YouTube as a subscriber and also met, messaged with my assistant and said he wanted to join the Ask Nick Co. Show. And um, I really appreciate you being on the show today. I want you to talk a little bit about your background and then also talk about uh, what kind of questions you're interested in talking about today. And um, I think that you have an interesting story. My understanding is that you... Uh, you know, are involved with the NFL. You also have a history of cancer. And I'd like to, for you to talk a little bit about that and then talk about what's most interesting to you about being a part of uh, my YouTube channel. Well, uh, honestly, Nick, I uh, uh, just uh, kind of, I guess, you know, in, in, in the path to mastery that, that, that we all take, you, you want to learn from as many people as possible. And, and you're definitely one of the guys I admire. Um, and kind of learning in that self mastery, you know, aspect. Um, I, I really just sent you a message, um, um, just uh, saying, you know, thank you. Um, that that you know, I appreciate all the, all your efforts over the years to to help people, you know. And um, and uh, your assistant got back with me and and said, hey, you know, this is this is maybe we could interview and so forth but but uh when, when, I, when i when i sent you youtube and I, and I emailed you i really just wanted to say thank you and and i would like to say that now thank you for all the energy and efforts that you've put into your your business and, and your life because uh it, it it it's it's i'm sure i'm not the only one um but but it's definitely been something that i've learned from grown from and then used to help other people um, so, you know, thank you for that, uh, Nick. And, and so, um, my, my history with, with cancer was about a year and a half ago. Um, I, I, I uh, longer than a year and a half ago, but I, I, I had a pain in my neck and it, it wouldn't go away. And, um, you know, you know how it is. You, you think that's just a chronic pain. I, I've had, I had sci sci sciatica down in my back before I thought, Hey, it's just a, you know, a chronic deal. And pretty soon I couldn't lift my shoulder, my hands up, uh, above my, my shoulders, you know, so I, I knew something was, was kind of wrong. And long story short, my spine had been, uh, had kind of, um, not, not uh, collapsed, but actually compressed my uh, spinal cord. And it was due to a, a cancer, a, 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 a blood cancer. And, uh, there was some, uh, so immediately I was taken to the, to the emergency room to have surgery, so on and so forth. There were complications in surgery. And when I woke up about a week later, um, I couldn't, I couldn't move. I, I could barely, you know, you know, talk. I, I mean, I, I, it was a bad situation. And so the rehabilitation process for me, um, it, you know, it was something that, uh, is life changing for me. Um, because, uh, you know, you probably don't ever think you're going to go through something like that, but it was, it was some of the things that I learned from real social dynamics, which is trust the process, just do your best. And, uh, you know, don't have a, uh, expectation or an anticipation of anything, but just kind of work to be the very best you, you can be. Um, and then I did it every day, every day, every day from holding a fork to, uh, using the bathroom by myself and just, uh, kept going and kept going and kept going. And, uh, and it really is a core tenet of how I try to live now far from perfect, but definitely something that, um, uh, I was really exposed to with, with you guys. And obviously when you're growing and learning, you want to learn from everybody. So I, 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 I'm always on that, you know, search to grow myself and, and to, and to learn in, in all the ways, but it was definitely a core tenet of that was, was some things that uh, you guys teach. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, thankful for that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I actually was diagnosed with lymphoma as well. I had a pain in my neck and it just never went away. So I, uh, went to the radiology center and they diagnosed me with cancer as well. But the day of my surgery, after a month of treatment, they told me that I didn't have cancer and it was a false diagnosis and they didn't look at my blood. And so all the uh, pain I had to go through for a month was uh, for nothing. But I could sympathize with the pain that you had to go through. I know exactly what they give you. 
Well, and and it was just it was probably the, the worst pain was was because I had to have three or four different neck surgeries to, to fix this. I I have uh, you know I, I had a fusion. I have a cage in the neck. A a, a, a cage that uh, that basically um, makes uh, two uh, vertebrae you know joined together because one of them was actually um, eaten away, and so um, so just just those things and just as you said just 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 you know it was definitely a ordeal that uh, was 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 it was tough but. But I'm really a firm believer that that things don't happen to you, that they happen for you. And of course, you know, it, there's, you know, it's not like you really want to go through things. But, um, but usually in the end, you know, that iron sharpens iron. And so uh, I feel like it just made me, you know, stronger in in a, in a lot of different ways. Yeah, definitely. I um I think that when you when you go through a moment like this, it makes you reflect on life, and then you know you want to focus on both your personal life and business life. You don't want to just give up. Uh, and now you have a career in, I believe that you've done some work with the NFL. And I'd love for you to talk yeah. a little bit about that. And then I'd love to answer some of your questions as well. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Um, so I, 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 I worked for Pro Football Focus. Um, I, I had, had a career in coaching uh, prior prior to this. And so I've coached a high school teacher, co- college coach. And now I've, I've joined with Pro Football Focus, also doing things for uh, myself as well, uh, consultations and, and things try, trying to help as, as many coaches as possible as many teams and uh it, it's more just that um uh you know constant pursuit of 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 learning growing um and, and just and just just being the best you know because I, I had to go from coaching where you're 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 working with players you're trying to develop their skills you're trying to sharpen their skills to uh more um uh analytical uh, still working with the game but 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 it's a different process and then learning how to do technology how to do different things that you know is foreign because you spent your whole career uh, coaching uh you know but 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 it's, it's still the the, the 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 same thing still apply just like in coaching you're, you're trying to get the best drills you're trying to get the best uh motivation tactics you're trying to stay up to date on 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 the latest and greatest, it's the same here. Um, it's just, um, hey, I'm having to do it in a, in a different way, and and uh, it's been awesome because I've I've, I've grown um, from this c- c- career also. And this was something I did post cancer, you know, post my cancer diagnosis, and also post the uh, kind of rehab from the uh, injury uh, and so forth that I sustained a year and a half ago. So it's it's been fun. fun. Nice. Well, being someone who's been following RSC Nation for a while. What were those questions and things that you were interested in learning from me? Well, uh, Nick, I don't know. I I, uh, uh, I didn't. Uh, your assistant just kind of said, I don't know if you want this, but your, your assistant just kind of said that uh, um, you'd like to have me on the show. I, I, I didn't really prepare any questions. I, I have some <laughs> because I, I, I respect you greatly. Um, I, I would say this just from a, a, a business standpoint. Um um, who, who are some guys? Listen, I've, I've studied uh, because I, I, I've uh, sales and networking is, is a part of this. I've studied everything from Grant Cardone uh, to um, got so many guys, um, so many guys. Who, who are some? And, 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 and I watch your channel, so I, I, I know some of the people that you've you know looked at, interviewed, talked about. Who, who are uh, two or three guys that you, uh, um, I guess, in business who, you know, I, you, you obviously learn from everybody, but who are two or three guys that, that you kind of follow now or at least uh, has been kind of a game changer for you in, 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 in networking, marketing, and also just how to uh, organize and grow um, as, as you go? So the people who I follow now are mostly people that are in my circle, my circle of friends, my mastermind, the people who you actually see in the videos, these are the people who I want to follow. I want to know what's going on in their lives, what they're focusing on, but most of them are business leaders. So if you look at my channel, most of the people that you'll see in the channel are people like Jim Quick, who's focusing on and focusing on all the ways you could really enhance the power of your brain and utilize the, uh, and tap into all the, the features that your brain has to offer in terms of memory, in terms of captivating your, your skill sets and taking advantage of them to the extreme. I'll follow guys like Gary Vaynerchuk, who I've known for a very long time, who, um, somebody who I knew actually when he was building Wine Library. Now he's an expert in social media marketing. Um, but I mean, most of the people I'm following now is mostly for social reasons. The people who I'm really learning from and making a big 
difference in learning from are the people who are focused on my present projects. So I look at what I'm working on right now, it would be things like the musical that we're working on, the story of RSD. So I'll be networking with guys like Robert McKee, who's on the Power of Story seminars, or Broadway producers, or in the music industry. Um, previously to that, while I was building RSD's infrastructure, I was been networking within the war room of digitalmarketer.com and masterminding with people that have CEOs that have really developed a tight financial infrastructure so I could replicate that within my own company. So it's always been targeted at those specific products that have been working in the future. Before that, when RSD was really first starting, I was just trying to get inspiration, looking at people who I admired, like Richard Branson, and doing whatever I could to just meet up with people like this. So I would, for example, to meet Richard Branson, I signed up for his charity gala. I was trying to find out those people who are the most inspiring people and did whatever I took to go out and kind of get a hold of some of these people. Now, I'm lucky because I was living in Los Angeles most of my career, so I was able to meet up with a lot of these people because Los Angeles is kind of the hub for business in America. I mean, LA, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, these are major hubs, so I got very fortunate for that. However, I also spent a ton of time traveling. My main focus was trying to just learn from as many people as I could. In fact, in five years, I basically traveled almost every week, once or twice a week, learning. I did that a lot with that with my wife because I also wanted her to learn so she could become a better entrepreneur herself. But it helped. It made a huge difference. And um, I think that what you got to do is just figure out who are the gurus in whatever niche you're focusing on. I mean, you're focusing on coaching right now. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to, if I was you, I'd be trying to find the guys who are really kicking ass in terms of developing coaching empires. Uh, I, I have a lot of friends that have done that as well. Is it you're talking about the uh, the uh, hacking the brain and so forth? And, and and I'm right there with you. Whether it's Tim Ferriss or, or the guy who does the uh, bulletproof, and you know that there's now studies about ketone, you know, get, get getting your body in a state of ketosis and all these things to like make your brain you know alive and, and alert. Um, how, how do you do, how, how much application? Do, 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 do you do of that? Do you um, do you do the intermediate fasting? Do you do the um, uh, you know um, you know uh, you know uh, avoid all, all all light before you uh, you know from the, from the cell phone and all that before, 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 before you go to bed? What, what what's the because because as as, as you well know um, there's uh, there's being the best version of yourself and then there's uh, almost uh, you don't want to say go overboard but uh, you know what. Um, I guess where's your balance there? If 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 there is a balance, my buddy James Swanwick, I did an interview with him, and you might have seen that. I'm not sure, but basically he created these these sunglasses that you could wear dur even during the nighttime that blocks out the negative light that could make it more difficult for you to sleep. And my business partner Owen, you know, he goes to sleep in rooms that are pitch black. In fact, when he travels. He has a team of people that goes to his hotel before he gets there and covers all the windows with black garbage bags and blue tape so it, it basically turns into a pitch black nest when he turns off the lights. And he even does it underneath the door. That's pretty hardcore. But yeah. uh, you know, he'll, he'll even have hotels complain about it because it's so hardcore. They're concerned that you could even uh, fix it after this room from turning into a pitch black nest. But it helps him to sleep. Other people like, say, um, the health gurus you might see on my channel that focus on intermittent fasting. Like, you might have seen the Gregor Gallagher interview. Him and his, uh, uh, you know, uh, business associate partner who has his own company, Brand Carter, and his brother, Rob Carter, they focus on a lot about intermittent fasting. And they have a diet and game plan they've sent to me, but I haven't actually completed that health game plan yet. It's, it's one that I released uh, on my YouTube, I think, um, recently about how I wanted to uh, create that game plan. I haven't done that myself. Most of my athletic activity now has been more something that I could do while I'm doing business at the same time, like golf, or maybe I'll be running and doing a hiking trail and I'll be hanging out with people and networking with them. I'm trying to leverage my time and try to do a lot more things simultaneously. Um, but yeah, I mean, I appreciate uh, having a good night's sleep when I can, but I'm traveling so hardcore that's kind of hard. Now, if I'm on a flight, basically like, two to four times a week, you know, I'll try to sleep on the plane, but I'm, I'm pretty busy in terms of my travel schedule. So as a result, my sleep doesn't allow me to, to do a lot of the things that other people do. Well, one thing I know is, uh, yeah, you, your, your assistant said you're going back and forth, um, 
I think, to school for, for Harvard and so forth. What, what made you at this point in life, um, after kind of um, creating this 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 industry, and and, and, and you know, and like you, like you were saying, uh, I know uh, Grant Cardone talks about doing multiple things at one time. You know, always. You know, you're you're you're, you're, you're kind of growing. You're, you're kind of making. You're you're actually controlling time rather than time controlling you. Um, but what what made you at this point in your life still want to go to school and do the the more the formal education, um, even though you've you know successfully built a, a business and so forth. Well, ever since I was going to the library as a kid, I felt like I was doing so because I was in constant fear that I was missing out on some intelligence or some information. And even now, I'll have situations where I feel like I need to know more about the situation to make the right decision. I've had a lot of different complex legal issues I had to deal with in the last couple of years, and I felt unequipped to handle it on my own without the advice of an attorney or a team of attorneys from many firms, and not knowing whether to give me good advice or bad advice made me somewhat uncomfortable. So I wanted to learn myself because I built a company where pretty much every position, I feel like I have some level of skill set and I have a certain kind of expertise in different aspects of it. I mean, and I might not have expertise in every aspect of video production, but I know it well enough that I could handle myself professionally. On a legal sense, I felt like, although I've worked with law firms in the past, and I even was a law clerk at one of the largest law firms in America in corporate law, I felt like at the same time, there's so many issues being thrown at me, I need to learn more. I mean, I've, I'm kind of an extremist also because I have an academic background and parents that were in education their entire careers. My mom is a kindergarten teacher. My dad was a university president. And uh, continuing education was a core value growing up. So, I mean, I've already gone through a couple MBA programs. Uh, even while I was working at Real Social Dynamics, I went through also a hotel, certi- uh, hotel advanced hospitality certificate program at Cornell through their hotel school. I went uh, and did courses at NYU um, and other universities, and now at Harvard, um, working on a degree, focusing on my legal studies, just to continually build my skill sets I feel are useful for real social dynamics. But I think that even if going to seminars or professional learning is, is totally cool, there's no continuing education program or a formal thing that you're supposed to do when you're an entrepreneur. So as a result, I kind of had to create my own. Um, I think that everyone does that. I mean, I know a lot of people that are in arts. Some of them are strictly slave performers. And these people will study professional seminars from gurus in all sorts of martial arts, language, voice. They don't have to necessarily do that. It's not like their act changes that much from, from day to day. But at the same time, you learn these skills because you never know when there's something that's an ancillary skill set will be useful in life. I mean, right now, I've, I'm studying a, a lot of random stuff that you know, are potentially not necessarily directly applicable to what I'm doing. And throughout school, even if you go to a school like Harvard as an undergrad, everyone's focusing on liberal arts to the point where you're wondering, how is this class on world history going to affect my career in the future? Or might when you understand that you are going to meet people from cultures around the world or travel? And little things like that, I think it's been very valuable for me. Uh, one thing I want to... Tell you is, is something that I kind of learned from RSD. I guess the, over, o- o- the overarching theme is kind of just choose courage over fear. And you know, um, I, I don't necessarily agree with, with, with everything that Grant Cardone says or, or, or real real social dynamics says. So, so you, you, you try to have your own, or, or, or does you should try to ha- have your own, um, uh, you know, kind of path in life, your own deal. Um, but there's always you always get the uh, social pressures to kind of conform, whether it's from your parents or just from uh, you know you uh, get uh, you know the the uh, business world or, or, or the people you, you work with. What's what's like some core um, internal um, things that, that that help you stay true to yourself, um, really stay down your uh, path that, that you're going on to to, to where you don't, um, you know, at the same time, you know, judging. Okay, uh, am I wrong here? Am, 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 am I misguided? Is what I'm hearing from people right or wrong? And at the same time, just going, you know what? I know um, I'm doing the right things. I can stay with this. I can stick with this and not kind of cave to uh, peer pressure, if you will, you know, from those around you. Well, I listen to people that have field experience in what they've done. And it's not necessarily the uh, famous authorities. It's people that are actually working in the field. And I get a lot of advice from a lot of different people. 
and I don't necessarily have advice that's all congruent. Many times these views conflict. So you have to choose one or the other. And you do it, and then you field test it, and if it gets the result, you keep pushing it. Field tested result from field tested action means you should you know, repeat that action if it gets a success and stop if it's failing. And that's how I look at things. I mean, I'll have guys who give me advice and they create these very solid rules about how things are supposed to be done. And then they'll say it in that kind of authority. But when you talk to them later, you'll, you'll bring it up and you'll be like, what about this situation? He goes, oh yeah, but there's, there's no rules. You know, yeah. one of the guys I said, there are no rules. These are just the things that I've seen work. And sometimes the things that I work with, you know, they aren't necessarily the things that work in a different situation. So the, the, the truth is there's no rules. There's no thing that works all the time. So as a result, you just need to kind of calibrate to the situation and try those things out and tinker with it. That's how the, the game is played. The, the bottom line, though, is that you need to get a lot of ideas so you, so you can get outside of your head and try new things and then field test them as much as possible to get those reference experiences, those failures. We talk about that all the time when you're doing cold approach pickup because you'll try things. And when those things don't work, you know what doesn't work in that situation, but that exact thing that you had to not work may work for you in a totally different situation. Same thing is happening in the business and your career. So if you want to talk about uh, staying true to a path, the only way you could do it is just develop a massive amount of field experience. And you can develop your own style and authority. Um, pretty much anyone who is a good uh, UFC fighter has had to study a lot of different martial arts in the same way of you studying, you know, studying different disciplines in terms of business. I, 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 that's awesome. I, um, I, Nick, I, I had no idea that this was... I, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm Pleasure to, to, to be speaking with you. Um, you're, you're, and as I say, I, I don't, I don't, uh, um, uh, you know, there, there's, there's things you try to take from, from everybody. Real social dynamics. There's, there's, there's things that you, that you take that you don't take. You don't have to agree with, 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 with everything with, with Grant Cardone or, or, or Tim, you know, a, anyone. But, but I can tell you, um, some of those same core principles um, uh, that you, that you speak of, have helped me in business because you're much more free to go up and make contacts and network and and you do it in a way that that's something that you speak of is offering value to people that you're, you're you're not you know and i think i think that's so awesome because it's just a better way to live when you actually truly want to offer value you don't feel a a, a, a grimy feeling when you're talking with someone you're like you're like look i want to help you I want to offer this to you. Um, if, 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 if you help enough people you, and you come from the right place, the uh, universe usually um, brings it, brings it back to you. Maybe, maybe not from the person that you've helped or you've talked to, but, but from, from some other avenue. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that's one thing that, that, I, that, I, that, that, that I thank you for, because uh, just in business, the, um, the ability to go up to people, to be kind of uh, not to worry about, uh, you know, because I, 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 I came from a, a place of, 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 of being, you know, shy and, and not, um, uh, you know, maybe as confident and then to, 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 to be able to do it and, and grow as a person and, and do it and realize that the best way to do is to have every relationship be win-win, offer as much value as possible and be the best version of yourself. It's helped me in business uh, so much. So I, I would definitely say uh, thank you for that. That's cool. I mean, a lot of those core values are, those epiphanies I've also learned from studying guys like Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which was one of the epiphanies in, in my life about how to establish your strong, principle-centered life and establish those win-win relationships. But those are principles that we've evolved, evolved on a lot just through uh, relating it to pickup in terms of cold approach. Let, let me ask you this because, um, and, and, and I, I think, you know, um, I, I think what you're doing now um, with the self-development stuff and and and, the, and and there's probably not a way to grow faster than to do the do the pickup stuff because you got to be completely out of your brain you know you, you can't like, like you're really laying it on the line um but do, do you feel like like what you're doing now you're almost taking it to the next level as far as um you know there can be like robots for for companions and things of like that for people but like but like the stuff you're on now and what you're teaching especially with with a you and 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 what you've started the last several months is 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 this kind of I mean, it's just such powerful stuff. It's like you talked about uh, Stephen Covey and 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 like uh, 
uh, Brian Tracy and those guys who really come from the right place who could continue to grow. Um, do, do you think what you're doing now is kind of um, really uh, kind of uh, the, the best thing that you've ever done in, in a way? Or, 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 or is it all just kind of a continuing of trying to help people, trying to pit, make people be the best versions of themselves, so on and so forth, if, if, if that, if that makes, makes any sense? <laughs> When we created Real Social Dynamics, the name of it in and of itself was not a dating focused name because we had at the very beginning of the creation of this company, the goal to focus on those issues of higher purpose and self improvement, and that's something that you know is now carrying forward into products yes. like Mastery Transformation, the Blueprint Decoded, and other seminars and programs we'll be hosting in the future. Uh, and I think that what's going to make it different than other companies as a unique selling proposition is that we've always focused ourselves on being in the real world, real world situations, holding your hand with you and actually making things happen. So whereas a lot of people in the seminar world make transformations just through coaching, a lot of what we're doing is actually being in operations with you that allow you to see that transformation interactive live. And I think it's been a lot of fun. And I think that in terms of our company, we're at the, the peak of where we are, but it's just like uh, the accelerating point where we're still growing. And it, yeah. although we're at the peak, we still haven't hit the peak of everything. You know, it's just at the peak of where we are, but we're on the upward traje uh, trajectory. And uh, that's the positive note that I like to see for where we are in our community and RC Nation. I, I, I can tell you this, and Nick, I had no idea. I, I, would, I would ask you questions or any, any of that stuff, but I can tell you that, like, because some of the stuff I work with is somewhat public profile and things, and you, you know, real social di dynamics has a has a history um, of, of of whatever. You know, um, people can say this or, or say that, but one thing like like the the, the reason I, I would come on here with you is because I feel like I've studied you enough and know that you're coming from the 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 the, the uh, right place. Cool. internally and, 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 and that what you stand for and, and, and because, you know, look and look there, there's, there's things are going to happen that there's probably stuff you don't agree with, 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 with uh, everything in life. And, and there's, and, and there's certainly things I've done uh, that uh, I'm like, wow, you know, and, and I'm not saying you, you, you've uh, done it. I, I, I'm just saying the, 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 the core that you are and, 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 and kind of how you live, um, um, and you know, I, I don't know you personally, but, but, but I feel very, very confident in saying, man, that guy, um, uh, is, is, is doing the right things in life. And, and I, and I, and I'm, you know, if, if, if I, if, if I never speak to you again, which hopefully, you know, I, 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 I can see you one day in person and, and, and shake your hand. I, I just want to say thank you. And, 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 you know, I'm, I'm very, um, very, uh, confident that, um, uh, Man, you're, you've already helped probably thousands of people, and, and probably your, your, your best is, 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 is yet to come. And if there's ever anything I can do for you, please, please let me know. Well, you helped today. Thanks for the uh, interview. And if yes. you want to meet up, be my guest at the World Summit. My assistant could set that up if you're just flying down to Vegas. But, yeah, I appreciate your time as well. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Nick. Cool. Cool.